Hey guys, what's up? So we're here to check out Aquaman. I mean, Namor. Where you're gonna check out his gameplay as well as a quick introduction to his skills. Namor is a tank and the first impression I got on him is how well he can hold his lane. His first and second skill has a long reach and doesn't require mana. Each of them also has a decent cooldown. He also regions some HP whenever he's standing in a pool of water that came out from his skills. And being a tank himself, he has good survivability and can't be bursted down by other heroes quickly. As you can see in the video, I was holding off 3 opponents on my top lane with ease. I was just spamming my first and second skill since it doesn't require any mana. There were times that I would get hooked by Groot, but since I'm a tank, I still had a bit of chance in surviving. Again, a great hero in holding his lane at the early game. Anyway, let's go to your passive skill. Each time you use a basic attack on an enemy hero, you create a pool of water under them for 4 seconds. It has a cooldown of 10 seconds. Again guys, you regen some HP and also gain movement speed when you're standing in water that came from your skill. Enemies near you will also receive damage during this time. Also, you gain a 10% movement speed when you enter the river area of the map. Next is your first skill. Namor summons a wave and launches it to his targets, dealing damage and slowing them down. It also creates another pool of water for 4 seconds. The distance of this skill can actually increase if the wave passes another pool of water. Yes guys, using this hero is gonna make a lot of your opponents wet. Next is his second skill. Namor pokes his opponents with his trident. This is actually a 2 hit skill. The first hit comes when you launch at your target, then the second hit comes when you pull your trident back. If your target is currently standing in a pool of water when this skill hits, then you will pull them towards you. Pretty much like a hook from Podge or Franco or Minsitar or Grap. Anyway, let's move on to your ultimate. Namor leaps towards his target and creates a huge whirlpool that will pull any opponents towards its center. The range of this skill is actually huge. It's just a bit hard to notice because of the transparent water animation. One thing to remember though, the whirlpool will instantly disappear the moment you leave it. This ultimate is awesome to have in teamfights. It can crowd control multiple targets because of its huge area of effect. Hopefully you have good allies that can follow through when you create the whirlpool, since you really don't have the damage to burst down the heroes that's been caught inside. So there we go guys, we've pretty much covered all the basics. Enjoy the rest of this Namor gameplay video, thanks! Hero has been defeated. An ally Attack hero has been defeated. Retreat. An ally turret has been destroyed. Rampage. An enemy hero has been defeated. Victory streak. Rampage! 
down. An enemy hero has been defeated. An enemy hero has been defeated. In the day of Victory streak. Double KO. Rampage. I grant you an audience. Be concise. And there we go, guys. So, what do you think of Neymar? Would you buy him? Share your thoughts in the comment section. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.